friendly. Oh, that's Havoc? Oh, I didn't even recognize him. Havoc? Havoc. Very good Snake player. Snake? Snake. Snake? I, I would expect MML to pull out the Mega Man against the Snake. I couldn't even tell you who we're going to see, but... Yes, Havoc is... I believe he's been playing since Brawl. Very talented Snake player. I believe he's from, like, High Desert or something, so we don't see him at too many of our events. Yeah, but SoCal Chronicles brings everyone down. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? Oh, goodness. But Havoc, like you said, Snake? Snake player? Any snake secondaries? Player, yeah. Um, I'm not too familiar with him. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I know I've seen his snake. I commented one of his sets in like Smash Church 7 back in the beginning. Oh, yeah, Smash Church like, coming up. And you're yeah, gonna be Smash there. Church 8 coming up. That'll be fun. And Arkstar is going to be cast commentating oh, there. So. I hope so. Didn't they announce you? Did they? Yeah, they said Arkstar is going to be commentating. Did I miss the announcement? I think you did. I was like, oh shit. Arkstar is going to be commentating in Smash Church. It was on, it was on Twitter. It was on Twitter. I'll have to find that later because yeah. I definitely did Check not. Check on his Twitter. Check on Twitter. It was there. I remember it. Who's Twitter? Uh, I don't know. It was a Smash Hitter Church. They announced it. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I literally saw you get announced. I was like, okay. oh, he probably knows. But, like I said earlier, MM Leo going to be on that Mega Man while Havoc on that snake, like you said earlier. Hopping right into Pokemon Stadium 2. No button check needed, I think. No, button check is going to be there. Is it? It's really hard to tell if it's a button check or not, with, but definitely With these not. kind of characters, you can never be too sure. Oh, goodness. I, I believe we are playing Havoc is able to get the ledge trap going right now. He puts the Crash Bomber on MM Leo, and I don't think MM Leo recognized it at first. Yeah, he's able to get away from that in the back here. He's trying to force out a little more damage, but Havoc throwing out the grenades and has to shield the Crash Bomb, though, but the Saw Blade does poke right through it, but a yeah. lot of lag. I like that MM Leo actually did that with, he did short hop saw blade, so it would shield poke because of the crash bomber. Whether that was on purpose or not, it was still really good. Uh, but Havoc's move, uh, Havoc's attack team is wrong, but Havoc, his movement on the snake is very, very smooth. Yeah, doing a really good job. He's actually even low profiling. Oh, he thought he could low profile the saw blade, but I didn't need that. And do remember, although Mega Man's, uh, although Mega Man's leap is great, so much at life. Yeah, and that's one of the moves that, you know, that move had a lot of controversy in the start of it, and the two frame with the Nikita missile. It is crazy. I mean, Nikita is one of the reasons why Snake's good. He literally invalidates so many characters. In yeah, Nikita, the, the, non, the most non-committal best edge guard move in the game. It's a crazy move, but it exists, and you gotta play around it. You know, there's, there's counterplay to it. Oh! He barely avoided the second smash. I think it just... Didn't get in there in time, but MM Leo kind of gets something down, but unable to find anything. Side tilt from Havoc. Here comes Nikita Rocket, but unable to find it. Spark trying to turn into the down smash. Oh, he turned to grab and actually instilled his hip hop. Oh! Yo! And he got the sticky! And that's a round of applause from the crowd right there. That was crazy. He does. Like, I. Because generally, you can only really get that people are standing still and in shield or something. But he goes for short hop. Catches him standing, gets the sticky, and back throws him, so he's in the hit stun, and he can get that detonation. That was nuts! Havoc showing off exactly what Snake could do. Even yeah. the crowd, he was a crowd-pleasing moment right there, and he just gets down there. And Snake's down there is so tricky as well, but Evan Leo won't let an edge guard slip past him. Yeah, and that's going to, you know, Havoc was looking to go for a three stock here. MM Leo keeping himself alive, saying he has none of it. Did you see that, man? Yeah, oh, the crash bomb slipped in the shield for a little bit, then just got disappeared. But if there's one thing I love Havoc, his movement is immaculate in this match. Yeah. He's just got, the B reverses have been impressive from him. Oh, he caught? How many explosions are we going to see? I don't know. It's Snake versus Mega Man. There's a lot of explosives. Crash bomb, grenade, C4, Nikita. Yeah. Mostly Snake and the one Mega Man explosive, but, but it exists. And That's right now, MM Leo trying to play it safe. Here's Nikita floating up into the air. Look at his beer reversal movement, trying to trick him out. MM Leo really struggling to even get back. The Saw Blade even caught up. He's just trying to go for something, but the back air forcing him off stage. Havoc trying to get something down, but he's actually going to make it back safe, but oh. the spot doesn't get pulled out. Yeah, and it, just unfortunate timing from Havoc right there. You know, he didn't even really have to drop shield, but he went for the spot dodge anyways to try and get punished. 
and he gets punished for it. Instead, looking for the up tilt, he knows that will at 100% kill Mega oh, Man. Oh yeah, at, at 131, like even the side tilt near the ledge, you kill and Havoc is just trying to play it patient. Yeah, and he's sink. He doesn't have to overcommit. He has a huge percent lead. And Evan Leo knows this. That's why he's playing so defensive. Yeah. Oh, this is the second part. Here comes the Nikita Rocket. And here comes the ledge trap. Can he get away from the great job from MM Leo, though, using his up special to get himself out of that situation. Here comes the Nikita Rocket. Oh, oh, my God. And Havoc just doing loop-de-loops out there with the Nikita. Just, am I going to hit you now? No. Am I going to hit you now? No. Am I going to hit you now? No. Okay, now. I mean, that's the reason why Nikita it just invalidates so yeah. many recoveries. It's so difficult. And MM Leo did his damnedest to try and avoid that and in the end it just wasn't enough and even if he did there's so much distance away from them it's yeah. unpunishable but hopefully another game will come out because mm leo he got styled on he got styled on yeah havoc looking very impressive for this game one i'll see you on that twitch clip by the way that was crazy and it looks like he's sticking with the mega man right now we talked about he has some other characters, but his Mega Man, you know, it's in his name. I mean, he can do it. Like, if his pellets, like, poke the grenade yeah. while it's flying or near Snake, then he's got a chance. But definitely this stage, hopefully, will favor a little better for this one. And both in exchange, just projectiles right off the bat. Use that leaf shield and have it. Getting a little bit of damage, but here we go. Using the grenades to trade through and the downer as well. Oh my god, that would have been amazing. Hard knuckle just barely missing. And downer. Downer is really tricky as well because it makes Snake float up on the last few hits, which can make a tricky hit. I'm liking the extra use of projectiles here because I feel like, or from MM Leo, because I feel like Havoc's getting stuck in shield for pulling grenades now. He can't pull these for free because he has all these projectiles coming at him, and then he just has to pull shield and the grenade does nothing. God, his ledge trapping is terrifying. Havoc doing a great job, but right now he's on the back and MM Leo. He's camping the snake out knowing that's his win condition in the scenario. Yeah, he has to play it slow. Oh, die. oh great carry. Trying to throw out the grenade, trying to buy himself a little more space, even the Nikita as well. Oh, it's chasing right after him. Dash attack, not gonna hit, running away from the death smash as well. Havoc stuck in this position, finally slips through the guard. And now here comes the ledge trap. What will he get? Great patience from MM Leo, though. Oh, goodness. This is the power of Snake. Even if you get so ahead. Oh, my goodness. Even the side smash trying to use in this situation. But MM Leo doing this great job. That M smash gets snuffed out. The grenade bounces off a little bit up tilt. Trying to be used in the grenades. C4. Everything being thrown out left and right. This look like it's a literally a Mega Man like boss where you just have to wait out the patterns and then poke him with your moves and eventually you'll whittle down his health bar. Because even because the boss, if they touch you, you you're gone. You're gone. You eat 88 percent right there. And it's good. Low pro with the lemons. Doing the best he can. The dash attack so good. Remember, it, it, what is it? His arms are invulnerable, right? What are you doing? His dash attack? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy what he can do. People joke about how it snakes other projectiles as well, but it's not safe on shield. As you see right now, MM Leo. Turning it up the heat and even using the platform, Havoc doing a great job, but won't get snuffed out. Look how many beer rolls he's utilizing in the grenade. Gonna be trading, but remember, Snake Disadvantage. You might think it's actually not that bad, but Snake Disadvantage really struggles, actually. I, oh no, he goes off stage, but he's able to get back on. Finding his way in. Look, look, look at this movement coming in from Havoc. Great stuff. Is, he's being tricky, but he's not getting hit. Like, MM Leo's still poking him every now and then, and then Havoc's not responding. He's not able to find this stock, and now he's even percent down a whole stock. Doing the best things he can. He's using the movement, but there's no reward. Oh, that would have been great if it killed, but unfortunately, it's just a grenade part and it's fun stale. At this point, runs into the pellets. MM Leo doing a great job walling him out. Havoc gets back on the platform, just barely crash bomb. Is on him, though. I right, looks for the dash pad. Here comes Nikita. Oh, he barely gets away using the C4, trying to get something down. Havoc gets spiked up, but a little more damage. 157, MM Leo doing such a great job in this game, number two. I. Right. It saved him! Smash Bomber. 
I feel like there was no need to pummel. You had to immediately yeah. do it. I mean, he was at 170, 1-200% at this point. That would have been it. He can't do anything about That's it. And finally gets the confirm. Okay, now, can have again early stock here with something, maybe like a backfill fair or something like that. Or just whittle away MM Leo. Like that? Oh my god. Oh, he's got the stick? It's still on him, though. Yo, MM Leo go, like, try to go wild with the sticks. Oh, he looks <laughs> for the forward smash. Trying to get some things down, but unfortunately, MM Leo, nothing better than that. I mean, I see the thing. Havoc's trying to go aggressive. But MM Leo is completely shutting out using your projectiles of his own. Well, the thing is, he's been getting out camped all game. Like, he's tried that. Oh, no. I thought he would die, but thankfully he gets away with it. Trying to use it. He's trying to stick him with that. But unfortunately, unable to find anything right now. MM Leo doing such a great job. Can't get a hold with this. Nikita will find home. It doesn't roll into it. Great patience from MM Leo. He's trying to low profile under the lemons, but instead, corners himself in there, and the death That's he will go. A two stock in return for MM Leo. I feel like, one, the stage had a lot to do with it. Wide stage like Town and City makes it very difficult for Snake to approach, and he was getting out camped by Mega Man. <laughs> you know, Master Shulman. He was getting out camped by Mega Man, so he has to have a smaller stage so he can close the gap a little bit, because Mega Man doesn't have the, close, the CQC that Snake has. Yeah. No, in, in the CQC battle, Snake comes out on top. That's what he's literally made for. He's That's all this canon and all this games. But like we said earlier, Mega Man completely out camping him in this case and just a big giant struggle in the scenario. So hopefully we get to see something different come out in game number three in FD. Definitely a stage that kind of wants to be playing on. Oh, you because you're low profiling them. I, I like the FD pick because, again, like I was saying, it's a smaller stage. He's going to have a little bit less room to work with uh, Mega Man is. So Havoc's going to be able to run in and get his dash attacks more, things like that. Jeez. Hard to read forward smash. Can't go for that, but get his shield off the sleeve. And even rolls around a great job by him, knowing exactly how to deal with it. And there we go. Once he gets in and pins him into this corner, that's what Havoc can start doing, but great job by MM Leo in order to get away from that situation. Here comes with the back here, unsafe though. And here he's recovering high, MM Leo quick on the chase, but the bomb actually managed to slip through the guard. All right, good patience on the ledge. You don't want to be standing. Jumps right over the saw blade and leap shield used like, but oh my goodness, he thought he was going to cross up with the down air. Shield pokes right through. He, oh, he that would have been it. That would have been it. Oh, actually, the grenade came into play, so the F-Smash is going to get snuffed out by that. And here comes the grenade once more, throwing it out the saw blade. Hey, gets hit up by his own, but MM Leo is in the corner. He's definitely enough tilt range at this point. Well, in back here, but it's not the strong spot. That it's leaf shield. shield's so good. It shields in the name. Like, it did exactly that right there. Yeah, he almost got into the C4. It tries to go for a back air attempt. Grenade thrown out. B reversal roll around as well, trying to get something in there. But the lemons keeping him so safe. He's trying to space it out, but Havoc struggling to find his way in, rolling away, but MM Leo not letting him find a window. And the crash bomb, you see that? It kind of it's weird. Scares. Oh, oh, and the, the saw blade into the, <laughs> into the back air, that will do it. MM Leo taking the first stock, you're saying at 150%, but we saw how long he was living on that last game. And this is the problem when Havoc gets behind like this and eats a bunch of projectiles and gets out camped, and especially then Nikita misses going nowhere. Up oh, smash, barely shielded out of time, but a perfectly spaced back air. Havoc takes stock number two. Not too much damage for him. Oh, goodness. So many projectiles being thrown out left and right, and to keep it used, but needs his own grenade. Havoc's gotta be careful. Look at this camping out from MM Leo. So good, spacing him out, not letting Havoc even try to get in. Finally gets an opportunity, but he gets new shield out. I, again, Havoc has to find a way to actually put damage on because every time he tries to approach, he just gets hit with three pellets, takes a little bit of damage, and then it resets over and over again. And then he throws MM Leo off stage and tries to Nikita, but MM Leo is throwing a projectile on stage and interrupting him. And there we go. We've seen a bear as well. Havoc gets hit up by his own grenade. So much more damage than he would have wanted. But if there's one thing I will say, Havoc, great patience. But 
It's just MM Leo, it's just meeting those projectiles around and knowing using the leaf shield exactly when it, it's so obnoxious to deal with. And Bear, oh, it killed him. What do you think about it, I think that maybe having tried to pull a grenade or something, maybe it just killed him flat out, but I'm not sure. Um, I will say the oh, Bear, oh, that would have been it. That would have been he it. He needed that. He needed that Havoc. Oh, he almost caught get that. Up? He almost caught that as well. Havoc is doing everything to try to come back. Evo blows him out with the C4. The game is slipping away from him as we speak. But MM Leo doing the best as he can. Leave shield use. That's not safe at all. My goodness. The Dash Track Snake trying to go for the up smash mortar edge guards right now, but he's not able to find it. He's trying so hard, but it's just not working for him. MM Leo has had the mental fortitude to withstand just throwing these pellets out and inching his way towards victory. Oh. Can he close out? Havoc throws out another Nikita, but it's not going to connect. He's MM Leo goes oh, too low. Too low. This is definitely still possible for Havoc. One last stock here. Yeah, but MM Leo, he's been so persistent on this projectile. Great chasing. Havoc, you don't get. My goodness. All right, double dash tech. That's 20% onto MM Leo, but Havoc sitting at basically 80. Yeah, setting up Cam and great job using low prof to get away from the crash bomb. It's like a, it's literally like a Mega Man game where you jump over the projectiles yeah. trying to escape from it. But Emma Leo, on pursuit, leaves shield pokes right through it. But Havoc, 86% is nothing on the snake. Trying to get the dash deck with a fair cuts him off. He's got the Nikita for a little more. He's really low. Can he make it back? He air dodges up and he barely makes it. Yeah, leaves shield used once more. Trying to find his way in. Down air sights are coming in. Archster, I'm not sure this is still possible. It's definitely still possible. Snake has a lot of kill potential, but he has to get more damage onto MM Leo before he can. That's going to be a down throw. He jumps over it, but he doesn't Up to. Oh, he's got the Let's drop. Nikita. How does he do it? The down smash. It almost kills. It's going to be. Yes, it. He's got Havik's got it. Havoc does it with the Nikita missile. He brings <laughs> it all the way back. What a comeback. <laughs> and in the very last.